Now this rather sad lump of tissue that we have here is the actual brain of a giant squid. You're looking at it right there. It's an, there's a number of, if you want to call them hemispheres, I call them lumps or what have you. There are a number of lumps there, but as you can see, if we pull on either side of that, the esophagus is actually passing straight through that. I'll remove that, that might make it easier. The esophagus is going straight through the brain. The limpet-like ancestors of cephalopods were slow-moving vegetarians. Their brain was relatively simple and in the shape of a donut around the esophagus. They became carnivores and some lost their shell. Now faster, they needed a bigger brain to hunt and communicate. They developed huge optic lobes to process the signals from the eye and upgraded the nerves in the arms and body so that they could react more quickly. The arms could now control the detail of their actions without the brain. 